Two more action. Go to the boys' side of things. Pleasant Valley and North. Bucket right there inside by Devin. Dennison Franklin kept North close, or I should say gave PV the lead. Then more from PV, Max Mozalik with that bucket. It was a 15 point lead. Home team trying to stay close. There's Dennison Franklin once again, cutting it to 14. This one all PV. Cole Beinborn buries the three. 35 18 at that point. We'll show you the final in this one. It goes the way of Pleasant Valley 71 46 to your final score. Another good battle at the pit. It's 7 2 North Scott hosting 6 3 Assumption. We start second quarter. Kyler Girardi takes it himself, gets the layup. Knights, though, on top by three. We go the other way. Assumption's Rico Bird. Gets the jump shot to go. Knights up five at this point. They go back on offense. It's Damon Jackson, the fast break. Making the layup look easy. The lead is now seven. Lancers, though, dishing it to the top of the key. It's Drew Sasha. He's there. Money from beyond the arc. That's a four-point ball game. How about this? North Scott comes back to win it, 50-44. to 44. Hey, let's go to George Marshall Gym Central looking for their fourth straight. Mac victory hosting Central Lit. Third quarter, though, Sabres playing good. It is... Carter Drury with the bucket and the foul. Sabres within one. Then some defense. Matthew Waters, the steal and the layup. Nice pump fake right there. Central with with one point lead. Things close throughout the third. Central, great passing. Anthony got to Charles Jones. The bucket and the bump. Central back up on top. A few trips later. Blue Devils down once again, but it's Jones with the floater in the lane. This one will go back and forth until Central gets hot late in the third. It's Tracy Hazlett with the steal. He puts it in with the layup. That puts Central up. They never look back. Davenport Central wins this one. 71 52, your final score. Bednar looking to keep pace as they welcome Muscatine to town. Second quarter, Muskie's down. Sam Emmert drives, feeds to Caleb Bettis for a short jumper, 28 15. For the Muskies, Michael Henderson. Get to the paint, layup plus one, 28 to 17. But Bettendorf would go to their superstar, Caden Wilkins. Drives, tough layup, 30 17 at that point. Bettendorf, your winner, 75 to 1. The Western Big Six we go. Fourth ranked Moline making the trip down to Galesburg to take on the Silver Streaks. First quarter, it's Grant Welch with the three, 3 0 Moline early on. Then check out the alley oop. It's Brock Harding to Owen Freeman for the slam. Nice. 5 0 Maroons early. They were just getting warmed up. Welch to Harding, this time on the fast break. Harding nails the three, 12-0 early on for Moline. Galesburg tries to fight back. Jackson, Croc Sibbing with the bucket right here to cut the lead with the baseline jumper down to 10, but more from Moline. It's Freeman with another dunk. Moline has got a big one tomorrow night. They got ready for Chicago Simeon with a 83. 36 victory. Next stop, Geneseo where the Maple Leafs and Rocky get busy in big six play. The Rocks wipe out one point deficit as Desmond Jackson connects from downtown. Rocks up by two. The Leafs edge back in front. Mason Loving. He'll drill the triple for Geneseo, but the Rocks continue to attack. Cameron Figs gets into the paint for the driving layup. The Rocks starting to take control of the long outlet to Figs for the layup at the other end. Geneseo would have no quit in them. Lonnie Couture drops in the short range jumper nicely, but the Rocks force 21 turnovers. This one turns into a Jackson flush at the other end. He scores 14. Marcus Queen 16. 7850. UT making the trip down to Quincy. Panthers out and running. Devontae Wright with the lay in. It's a close game early. Panthers back on offense. Bristol Lewis with the drive. Hits the floater. UT though playing catch up. All evening, Dominic Roden drives baseline for the Panthers. Deuce, not enough for UT on the road. They would fall 63-51. Sterling looking to get back on track, visiting Alleman at Dunmore's gym. Pioneers with a special captain, that six-year-old Gavin Springsteen. More on him in just a few minutes. Sterling making themselves right at home. Ch Carter Chance with the turnaround jumper in the lane. The four-point lead for Sterling early on. Alleman looks to answer on Senior Night at Senior Lincoln Dorsey with the pretty spin off the glass. Alleman back within two, but Sterling just too much inside. Lucas Austin catching off the nice pass and scoring off the window. Next trip, similar result. Austin had 17 in the first half alone. Sterling cruises in this one, 70 to 25. Your final score. Number one ranked Princeton looking to stay perfect on the season at Peru St. B. First quarter, Brady Thompson to Court Larson. Throwing it down at the other end. That opens up the scoring for Princeton. Lawson then passes to Colton Monroe. 
more high flying action. 12 3 Princeville. Tegan Davis to Monroe. This time, easy lay in. Take the easy route on that one. 16 5. Thompson then passes to Noah Laporte. Tough layup. Acrobatic. The spin and in. 20 7. And then Bennett Williams to Christian Rosario. That three ball is good. Princeton still undefeated. 21 0. 81 46. Rock Ridge back at home tonight, taking on Erie Poppinstown. Early on this one, it's Carson Clemmy getting free in the corner. I don't know if you guys knew this, but his dad, Steve, won three championships in that Dwarf C ever League ever heard heard with that. yours truly. Up three early on. More from the Rockets off a turnover. It's Landon Wheatley taking it in, laying it up and in. Unfortunately, his dad didn't. Not good enough team, but league. still five nothing early on. Hush. <laughs> Profits the EP looking to stay close. It's Caleb Nafsger driving, getting his own miss, putting it back up and in. They're within one early on, but. Rock Ridge would answer. Some kid by the name of Caleb Kunico gets free in the corner, and every time he shoots it and makes it, I call it a netter because it goes right through the, the net. So it's a netter. Caleb Kunico gives them a four point lead. We'll show you a final score on this one. His dad won the C League championship with me, too. Whoa, actually, Jerry. Yeah. 56 38. Did you your final win that one. I think Jerry <laughs> fell over there. Let's stay on track. <laughs> Gerard Wilkley, Mom at Rosewood Sound. Jerry shot that. That was a whip zoom. Holland Anderson from the corner. 4 3. You betcha. 30 to 13, Sherrard. No offender. Will deliver a nice bounce pass to Alden Schweitzer for the layup. 32 to 13, Tigers. Roseville going away. They're going to break the full court press put on by Sherrard with a nice pass to CJ Johnson. Nice reverse layup on the other end. 32 15, Sherrard's Anderson with a three from the top of the key as he gets open. This one would go to the Tigers. They win 63-45. On Kiwani Southside, visiting Murco, extending a third quarter lead over Weathersfield. Great ball movement. William Fredrickson for the 44-21 advantage. The Geese, though, taking a gander, making a comeback. Caston Rash, perfect touch on the three-pointer. Then soon after, Mercer County goes to Jude Hoffman for the layup. It's a 22-point lead after that. Golden Eagles continue to soar. It's Fredrickson again, strong on the offensive glass and the putback. Mirko picks up the 62 36 win. Hey, let's hit the scoreboards. It was Kiwani over Mendota by seven. Also, Spring Valley Hall by six over Bureau Valley. Next group of boards says Orion and Morrison. That one goes the way of Morrison by three. Start County one game back with a 19 point victory. Knoxville and Anawan, that one goes. Actually, Ridgewood and United, that's a four-point win by United. It is A-Town beating Galva 70-54.